Hello, welcome to Pray in Secret. I'm so glad that you could join me. If you would like to pray with me today, I welcome you to join me in the prayer for today. I really want to pray a prayer for all the nations today, a prayer of protection, a prayer of angelic intervention. And I really want to spotlight two nations in particular, which is Israel and the United States. And I want to start with a scripture to pray and to just reinforce the word of God. Scripture is Psalm 46, verses 5 through 7, which are written. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. Just at the break of dawn, the nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. That's what's written in Psalm 46 verses 5 through 7. And I invite you to now join me to pray. A prayer for the nations. It does say the nations rage, but God always has a remnant in his nations, a remnant of people who love him and who pray for the righteous will of God. So today's prayer is titled Calling Angel Armies to the Nations. And this is for protection, particularly for the righteous remnant of God. O Lord of Angel Armies, Adonai Tsevaot, if it pleases you, Command your angel armies to come forth to the nations, to the mountains, valleys, cities, towns, states, provinces, borders, coastlines, rivers, streams, bridges, roadways, railways, waterways, airways, marketplaces, communities, worship gatherings, educational campuses, banks, hospitals, prisons, caretaking facilities, and hotels. And those of you who are praying with me, if you can think of any other place to add to that, please do. And I agree with you. We welcome and watch your angels to come to take position in the nations, to push back all darkness, to diffuse all violence, to pull down all strongholds, and overthrow principalities, to open up the portals of heaven to overshadow and overtake every point of demonic contention in the nations, to close doors of demonic influence causing affliction and tyranny upon the nations. O oh, 
Lord God of angel armies, Adonai, Seva Ot, send forth your guardians to guard the gates and doors to the cities, to intervene and interrupt all violence and terrorism, to arrest all actions of evil as they are exposed, to drive out all hidden evil and bind it, to shield the people in harm's way, to hinder and block all agreements of evil plotting, to ambush and overthrow those who gather to initiate evil attacks of violence, to carry out every strategy according to your wise plan for the nations at this time. Oh, Lord of angel armies, we surrender to your plan and partner with you. We cooperate with your angels. We exalt your name, O Lord God. We give you honor. We recognize your power and your might and your authority over heaven and earth. Hallelujah. We humble ourselves in your presence. And with the fear of the Lord, we thank you for your plans of protection for your people in these times of spiritual and physical warfare. You are the mighty one who gives true signs and wonders to guide us in the way we should go. Grant to us deep discernment to recognize what is false from what is truly your signs to us. Holy Spirit, remind us of your holy word to guide us through these times. May angels be released to your intercessors in the nations to strengthen and refresh them night and day. We declare that we shall be like Lazarus coming out of the grave of tyranny, terrorism and tyranny that has been trying to hold us back from the plans of God for the nations. We declare that Jesus of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, is calling us forth. We declare that the gravestone of this tyranny and terrorism is rolled away and that the door is opened to victory for God's people like never before. Hallelujah. For now is the time of resurrection and the dry bones shall come alive and come together as God's victorious Gideon's army. For the sun is rising and the dawning of a new day is fast approaching on the horizon. So arise and shine. Our light has come and his glory shall rise upon us. For harvest time is about to be in season and the laborers of every nation shall take up their equipment to be ready. For the atmosphere shall be filled with testimonies of King Jesus and the kingdom of God, with miracles, signs, and wonders following and confirming. And many hearts shall rejoice because they were in darkness, but behold, they see a great light, the light of the world. Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified one, the resurrected one who overcame the grave. He was, he is, he shall be forevermore. Amen and amen. And may God bless you today and his angels be with you to guard and protect you and guide you and lead you with the Holy Spirit. Amen.